You got the, the Drive PX with the ability to connect all these different high-speed cameras. It brings it into the Drive PX computing platform powered by TX1. TX1 then figures out the environment around it. And then from there, we can apply deep learning computer vision and other computer vision techniques to better become situational aware. The technology we call is surround vision. Surround view is taking multiple cameras and stitching them together. Surround vision is being able to look at and understand, see and understand the environment around the car. To show you what surround vision can do, uh, Jim is going to uh, give us a demonstration of this incredible technology. Jim? Thanks, Jensen. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna show you is the simulator that we've developed, um, which is what you see on the screen right now, which is a photorealistic simulation environment for testing computer vision algorithms. So one of the challenges with computer vision is that it requires real cameras and rigging up of, of situations and cameras on vehicles and other things if you wanna test real autonomous uh, driving types of algorithms. And a lot of times that, that configuration is challenging. So what we thought is why not do it in a virtual world, especially since we have such expertise in realistic rendering and photorealistic rendering and physically based rendering, we developed this simulator to, uh, to, to, to do exactly that. So this is a, a parking garage that's based on the parking garage at NVIDIA headquarters in uh, Santa Clara, California. And Curtis here is gonna drive the car around this environment to give you a, a feeling for what the space looks like. Now remember, this is completely real-time 3D. This particular parking garage is real. It is really our parking garage. I think the, the sum of the cars, for example, the Ferrari 430. <laughs> just, there's quite a few Ferraris. Maybe we're... Lots of Audis. And so, so um, uh, this entire environment is designed in 3D and everything is rendered in real time. As you know, we, si we simulate as a company. Simulation is deeply rooted inside the culture of our company. We simulate obsessively so that our chips are perfect. We simulate obsessively so that our algorithms are perfect. So it stands to reason that we would create a simulation platform for autonomous driving. So we can uh, reconfigure this environment as well. This is not a static environment, so in addition to driving through it, Curtis can change the configuration of which spots are filled and what cars are in the spots. And indeed, we can actually even just fly around in the environment um, fully real time and, and click on the spots and reconfigure them to different vehicles or, or even make the spot completely empty or whatever you'd like. Okay. So this is the first part, which is the, the, the actual uh, simulator. So another component of the simulator <coughs> is it's not enough just to render this viewpoint, but we also need to generate inputs that would run into computer vision algorithms, and that means we've got to attach cameras to this car. So let's transition to the other visualization. So what this is showing here, the center image is running on the same machine that you were just, that you were just seeing. The, the four images around it represent the views from different cameras that are attached in this virtual environment. And those, those cameras are actually being rendered on separate machines. They're doing real physically based fisheye renderings. Uh, fisheye cameras are very common on, uh, in automotive platforms. And then those, uh, and they're fully synchronized with each other. So they follow the car. There's a camera in front, one on each side and one in the rear. Now imagine the power of this platform as a result. I mean, he's, he really has, there are five high-end NVIDIA GPUs simulating this virtual environment. The beautiful thing about this is now we can change the virtual environment with great ease. Uh, we can change the environment around it, we can change the lighting around it, we can change, obviously, the geometry and all the obstacles around it. And this particular simulator behaves physically accurate. The rate of the wheel turning and how quickly the car is moving is physically simulated. Uh, when a car, well, we could, we could collide against another car. Every single car has collision detection. And so everything, <laughs> okay, notice, notice the triangle, the, the, the two objects don't go into each other. It's, there's collision detection involved. And these five GPUs are rendering the five views that you're currently seeing. And these views are then translated into video input 
that the Drive PX will now use for recognizing the environment around it.